Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over course auto play and auto complete settings. Let's start off with auto play. On some systems, it's also called auto start. So this is when a student starts a lesson. They click on a lesson title, or they click on the very top, they're navigating on a module, and they wanna just, without clicking anywhere else, just clicking on that module, they automatically are taken to the very first lesson there. And that's what autoplay and auto start does. They don't have to unmute the video, the audio. They don't have to click around and do three or four additional clicks. As soon as they click the lesson, the lesson opens up and starts playing. That is the autoplay feature. And sometimes, depending on the system, it can also do a countdown. So you click on a module or you click on the lesson and auto expands, the video shows up, it's right there exactly where the student needs it, the audio plays, and they may get a, we'll start video in three, two, one. But nevertheless, the autoplay is great to start every single video in the course. On the flip side, at the end of the video lesson, there's the auto complete or auto advanced feature that are available on some LMSs. And this is when the video ends. So when the video ends, if this feature is enabled, it'll check off that, hey, that particular lesson was completed. So if you have sort of a, a tracker of which lessons were done, you'll see the green check mark. And it'll also update the overall course percentage. So you were previously at 35%, and now you're at 40% because that video just auto-completed. And then when it auto-completes, it'll take you to the next video. So if you're in the middle of a sequence, uh, a module that has several lessons, you'll go to the very next lesson. If you're at the end of a module, it'll go to the beginning of the next lesson. And then hopefully combined with auto-play and auto-start, that next lesson will, will start. And then you'll just, You'll, your students will be in the flow. They can kind of binge watch on your course. They don't have to click around and get interrupted. They can just kind of eat up some courses. Just some additional considerations. This is also good for accessibility, right? So maybe some of your students might not have a keyboard or mouse, or maybe they need to use voice commands to navigate the on-screen prompts or maybe they're from another country and they don't understand all your labels on your video player. So auto start, auto complete, these are great settings and you as a teacher may be able to set defaults for all your settings so that the, the most you know your students best then your students would be able to benefit from it. And then in some cases, students might be able to do their own settings and that would be great as well, but at least you gave them the best default you could. And then some systems, whether you're Thinkific or Kajabi or LearnDash or any of, the, of these other systems, they might offer these two features as one main feature that's combined that you enabled, or they might be split out. And then also as a course teacher, you might be able to stylize or even change the words of what you call these features or the prompts. And so some of the systems let you override that as well. But yeah, the basically courses have the ability to auto start their lessons or maybe even auto complete and auto advance. And those are pretty cool features. So if your system has it, you should consider turning them on. Thank you. Bye.